guys, today I am doing kind of a um, 60s mod look and I'm kind of doing an ode to like Adele and Amy Winehouse and those throwback singers that are kind of really happening right now. Um, so I hope you guys like it and let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fine tooth comb. You can use one of these, it's a little rat tail comb. Or you can use a teasing comb or whatever small fine tooth comb you can find. But I'm actually going to start this, because I'm doing more of a 60s look, I'm going to start it right where my bangs end. And I'm just going to start teasing. And because we're doing big hair, you want to give it a good big tease. And after each tease, give yourself a spray, and that'll hold it. all the time with all of this teasing that I do to my hair um, how much damage it does to my hair and also how long it takes to get out and I think it really depends on your hair it depends on how healthy your hair is it depends on the texture of your hair my hair is really straight but really thick so I have a lot of hair which takes me a little bit to brush out and um, I find the best thing to do when your hair is really teased is to try to brush it out before you shower and then when you get in the shower deep condition it and that'll bring back the shininess and the smoothness to your hair. Um, I'm just a really big fan of conditioning and um, I use a paddle brush to brush out my teasing. So that's what I find is easiest. Trying to use these things to brush out teasing is not so good. and your hair has all dry from all of the hairspray. Just separate all of the little sections that you've just teased. Try to make it one big clump. Don't separate it too much because you still want that big volume. Then I'm going to take my smoothing brush and I'm just going to gently smooth the top layer. Be sure to look at your hair from all angles so that you can make sure there's no lumps or bumps. And this one I'm doing kind of like a messy style so I'm not super worried about being able to see the teasing through my hair. If you're doing like a pretty beehive updo um, <clears throat> like for a formal event or something and you don't want to see all the teasing just make sure you smooth really well but don't brush out the teasing. So now I'm just going to take handy dandy bobby pin and I'm just going to pin back the sides. And when you push, when you pull the hair back, push it up and that'll keep the volume back there. And you can see I put one bobby pin in and then I'm going to take another bobby pin and I'm going to cross it and that'll really anchor the bobby pin into that tease. <clears throat> and do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so once your sides are anchored, you can take some of the hair and just loosen it a little bit, and that'll give you a bigger bump. Then I'm just going to take, I have this middle section of hair I haven't pinned, so I'm just going to take it and I'm going to pin that down. Now, with the hair that I have left, I'm just going to take a curling iron, handy dandy one inch that I always use, and I'm just going to curl the bottom sections. Just loosely curl it. You don't have to pin it or anything. You just want to have the ends <clears throat> look kind of pretty.
curled, you're gonna actually wanna let them cool down, but in the interest of time, I'm just gonna keep powering through. Um, I'm gonna take more bobby pins, and I'm just gonna twist in the back to create kind of a side ponytail. And as I twist, I'm gonna pin. Now I like doing it this way versus actually tying it into a ponytail because it actually looks neater in the back. And it looks a little more authentic and less like bubblegum teenager. And if your hair is really thick and you have a hard time getting the pins to stay, just cross them like I did up here. That's the best way to get uh, bobby pins to stay put. Okay, so then you're going to take the front and just give it a final twist so it kind of looks like it's tied in a ponytail. And then pin it in there. And try your best to hide these pins also. And then your hair should just kind of fall into a natural curl. Kind of give it a little twist. Now I'm just going to take my smoothing brush and I'm just going to go over everything just to make sure you don't want it to be super polished but you still don't want crazy flyaways. Comb your bangs. Now my bangs kind of curl into this weird thing naturally when they dry so you know you can tuck them or pin them or do whatever they don't really bother me that much so if you have weird flyaways like that whatever it's not the end of the world. Um, so yeah, this is the basic look, but um, another variation, a lot of you girls ask me about variations with bangs, like long bangs and baby bangs and all that. As you can see, I have longer bangs, <clears throat> excuse me, I have longer bangs so I tend to do them side swiped. If you have baby bangs or Betty bangs, you can just side swipe them too, you know, part them about here and just push them over. I wouldn't keep them straight because it's not very authentic with the whole 60s look. Um, and then if you have longer bangs, like I do, you can either wear them sideswiped like I just had them, or if you want a more authentic kind of 60s look, you can do the middle part, which for me isn't, I don't think it really flatters my face very well, and it's not totally me, but it's definitely more like um, Bridget Bardo, Dusty Springfield, that kind of thing. You can part them in the center if you want, or you can sideswipe them, um, or if you have um, like long shaggy bangs, obviously mine are too long, but you can just keep them straight and shaggy if you want. It just depends on what uh, what your face shape looks like and kind of how your bangs are cut, but you can definitely play with it and find a you know a style that's right for you. So this is how I choose to do them. This is my uh, kind of ode to Adele slash Amy Winehouse slash 60s mod and. I hope you guys like it. Um, if you guys want to see anything else, let me know. If you like these other vintage styles besides the 40s and 50s kind of stuff, I'd be happy to try anything that you want to see, maybe 70s or 80s or whatever. So thanks again for watching, guys.